Language, the fundamentals of reality. The sole remaining task for philosophy is the analysis of language. Ironically, I read this quote in Stephen Hawking's A Brief History in Time. He was mocking Wittgenstein's lack of extensive evaluation. He was disappointed that philosophers were not taking us to the next level. I believe Stephen Hawking was a great thinker and scientist. I also believe there's value in this quote. It got me to think about language as a reality and where language exists inside of what we create as human beings. I wrote about this distinction in 2008 and shared it with a landmark leader. I was trying to merge what I got from science and what I got from landmark. Shortly after, there was a course created called Direct Access. Basically, on the real, they're a bunch of hacks. Physics gives us a playing ground that is real, but reality exist in language. This is where we get to break apart the playing ground and create what is real. In space, there is a layout of reality. Time and space are expanding together. Time and space just are. Inside of space, reality shows up. The present occurring reality of how we exist is like the way software exists inside of hardware but we view ourselves as hardware inside of reality. A transformed reality is elusive software existing inside of elusive hardware. In language, time and space are independent of reality. Reality requires a space of beingness, which is given by language. Time ripples across space and bends to create gravity. Gravity's source is the origin of creation. Beingness can create in reality. To create is to be. If the universe is expanding, it has an infinite measurement. Any sphere has an infinite measurement. Physicality distinguishes reality. Access to reality is language. Although it looks as though we are moving in reality, we are not moving. Reality is moving and then it occurs to others. I am not here and you are not there. I be here and you be there. Without being, there would be no story to tell and nothing would exist. Language fills reality to create and cause the future. For example, a parent saying, Go to your room! creates and causes a child to be in their room. You are creating and causing your reality to be in the present. Saying, I'm always tired, busy, there's too much to do, life sucks, will create that in your future. Your own power and capacity determine what you can cause and create in your future. A five-year-old kid saying, I'm going to be a movie star, is not a very powerful statement, although inspiring. We highly admire the person who can create this as a result. This kind of commitment with a small capacity will bounce back and knock a person on their ass. If language creates reality, then why didn't it just work? Why wouldn't a kid just become a movie star after saying it? It's because there's no capacity to speak into. The universe couldn't create a mass until it was big enough to. Beware of speaking bigger than your world created. If it then doesn't work out, all a person will want to do is destroy everything. This leads to expansion. Expansion is what makes possibility possible. Without expansion, we would just be stuck inside of a world without progression. Time would never be defined by eras or changing events. It would all just be the same. A relationship between the past, present, and the future is developed when each is realized. Past. The past is bad. Bad things have happened in the past. Don't look back. The present. It's hard to be in the present. The future. Anything can happen in the future. The future will come. Your relationship to each distinguishes your ability to create and the way you relate to reality. One may never have a realization of their own future. They may be stuck in the past or trying to make something happen in the present that they can't. Is reality certain? Who are you that I am? 
Who you are is that I am, and you are certain about that. You are given by your certainty. All that is in your reality is what you are certain about. This limits your point of view and what's possible. There is a philosophical theory that says if the world was created 10 minutes ago, we would have the exact memories and thoughts to make us believe we had been living up to that point. Is it possible that everything is equal to nothing in a physical universe? We call ourselves human beings, but we never explore the being part. We just run with the humanity within ourselves.